From smallpox to cancer, how vaccinia viruses are revolutionizing vaccine development. Vaccines have long been celebrated for their ability to prevent diseases, but some are now being developed to treat existing conditions such as cancer and viral infections. One promising approach is the use of vaccinia viruses, which were historically used to eradicate smallpox. These vaccines prompt an immune response that can eliminate threats, including cancer cells and cells infected by viruses. Dr. Ricardo Rosales and his colleagues at Virolab are at the forefront of this field, leading innovative research into two vaccinia viruses, MVA and GAB1. The team has demonstrated that recombinant MVAE2 and GAB1 viruses can be used to treat cancerous and precancerous cells by injecting them directly into lesions and tumors. Once inside a cell, the virus replicates, producing millions of viral particles and proteins. This activity overwhelms the cell's machinery, leading to its death. The dying cancer cells are recognized by immune cells called antigen-presenting cells, or APCs, such as microphages and dendritic cells. These APCs engulf the cancer cells and break them down into small pieces called antigens, which are then displayed on the surfaces of the APCs. The APCs present the antigens to immature T cells, which mature into CD8 plus T killer cells and CD4 plus helper T cells. These T cells, particularly the cytotoxic CD8 plus cells, launch a powerful immune response targeting and destroying cancer or cancer-inducing viruses. In addition, B cells can recognize the debris from infected or cancerous cells. After these B cells are stimulated by T helper cells, they become activated and produce antibodies. These antibodies can detect cancer cells and deactivate virus particles. Through numerous clinical studies, Dr. Ricardo Rosales and his colleagues have demonstrated the therapeutic potential of this vaccine technology in the treatment of cancer and precancerous lesions. For example, the recombinant MVAE2-based vaccine was effective in eradicating lesions in patients with recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, a disease caused by HPV6 and 11. Patients who received the vaccine generated an immune response that targeted and eliminated HPV-infected cells, providing long-term protection against lesion recurrence. Another Phase three clinical trial involved over a thousand patients with HPV-induced lesions that can lead to cervical and anal cancer. The lesions were completely eliminated in 9 out of 10 of patients with no recurrences after 10 years of follow-up. While the cancer applications of the team's vaccines are the main focus, their origins in smallpox vaccine research are significant. Dr. Ricardo Rosales' work has also led to the development of a preventive vaccine for monkeypox and smallpox using GAB1. A single dose of the GAB1 vaccine provides protection for decades, with no adverse side effects, highlighting its potential in public health preparedness. The pioneering efforts of Dr. Ricardo Rosales and his team demonstrates how a virus once used to combat a historic disease can be repurposed to tackle modern health crises, from emerging infectious diseases to cancer. <laughs>